Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and in this video uh, we're going to look at how to upload multiple files with Ajax slash XHR. Alright, so it's actually um, pretty straightforward and it's not as hard as you might think it might be. Alright, so let's go inside my directory structure for this document and it looks like this right now. So we have this index.html file um, looking pretty blank at the moment. Um, I've also got this upload PHP file, um, which we're going to use for demonstration purposes. Okay, so of course, um, this demonstration of XHR or Ajax for uploading files is going to work on any server-side language, but I'm using PHP for simplicity and also for demonstration. All right. Um, essentially, this file is going to uh, dump out which files it has actually received from the Ajax request and also move them to a directory called uploads, which is right here. Okay, so um, let's go back inside the index.html file and begin on the client side code. All right, so um, we're going to begin by um, having or creating um, a file input uh, uh, element. Okay, so I'm going to say input here with a type of file. Okay, and also we're going to get rid of the name attribute and uh, instead use the ID. So we're going to say ID as INP file. Okay, that way we can actually reference it inside the JavaScript. And uh, one of the most important things here is actually adding the multiple attribute to the end of your um, your file input. That way users can actually select multiple files um, in their dialog window. All right, so that's what that does. Um, and now we need uh, the submit button. So we're gonna say button here um, and give it an ID of BTN upload. And inside here, we're going to say upload files. Okay, so obviously, uh, when I press this upload files button, we're going to upload all the files contained within this input. All right, so I'm going to save this and then refresh the browser. And we have this right here. So, of course, I can go here, I can actually uh, select multiple files. So, um, let's just choose uh, these two files here. Okay, I press upload or open, and we can see I've selected two files here. And that's what the multiple attribute does on the input field. Okay. And then I press upload files, and of course, nothing happens. So let's go ahead now and add the JavaScript to actually uh, do something when this button gets pressed. Okay, so uh, back inside here, let's first get a reference to both um, the file input and also the upload button. So we can make a new constant here, call this one imp file equal to document.getElementById. Pass in here, of course, imp file um, for the input file and do the same thing for the BTN upload. So copy this and paste it right here. So now when the button gets pressed, we're going to say BTN upload dot add event listener on click. We're going to run this function inside here. Okay, so when the button gets pressed, uh, we're going to do a few things here. Actually, we're going to do two things. So um, the first one is, of course, uh, actually create um, the XHR or Ajax object. Um, and the second thing is to actually uh, construct what data we're going to send to the server side. So first, let's make a new constant called XHR equal to a new XML HTTP request. Okay, so uh, we're going to eventually, of course, uh, you know, uh, set the post variable for this and set the upload file. But for now, uh, we're going to keep it as a variable or a constant. And secondly, we're going to make a new constant called form data. We're just going to hold all of the data, so basically the files, um, that we're going to send to the server. So we're going to say form data equals a new form data object. Okay, cool. So now we have um, these two constants. We can begin by actually using them. So um, uh, we're just going to uh, essentially uh, get every single file that we've selected from this input, and then we're going to add it to the form data object. Okay, so um, what I'll do first is I'll just console.log. I'm going to log out imp file.files. Okay, so the files attribute is basically an array like structure containing all of the files that the user has selected. So if I was to save this and then refresh the browser and then choose those two files once again and uh, go inside the console. If I just press upload files here, we can see we get a file list. Okay, so very similar to an array. Okay, if I was to expand this, we get here two files inside the file list. So basically, uh, for each one of these files, we're going to add it to the form data object. Okay, so back inside here, 
um, let's go ahead and loop through each one of these files. So I'm going to say for and then const file of IMP file dot files. Okay, so for each file, I'm going to say form data dot append. I'm going to say my files with the uh, two brackets at the end of that and then put file as the second argument. So basically what's happening here is um, we're essentially emulating or doing the same thing here with the my files as we would do if we were to add the name attribute to this input field. So essentially um, doing this right here, this name is essentially the exact same thing as going inside here and saying my files and the two brackets. So um, we're doing it in the Ajax way, if that makes sense. Okay, um, and this means we are submitting both of these files or all of your multiple files, we're submitting them under the same name slash key when it gets sent to the server. Okay, and now if you're using PHP, you need to have uh, the two square brackets at the end there. So they are required for PHP. Um, if you're not using PHP as your server side, you may be able to actually have my files like that without the need for these square brackets. But I think the safest way here is to just include the square brackets anyway, um, no matter what uh, server side language you're actually using. Okay, so um, here we have, yeah, as I said, we've added each file to the form data object, and now we can actually uh, send off the request and uh, also pass into that request um, this form data object. All right, um, so down here, let's say xhr.open. We're going to make a post request and make the request to the upload.php script. Okay, and now we can just say xhr.send inside the send function or method we're going to pass in the form data object so we're going to say form data and this basically says yeah cool we're going to make a post request to this upload php file and we're going to send um, <clears throat> all of your form data all right so if i was to uh, save this and refresh the browser and then choose those two files and then press upload files okay if i go inside the network tab of the browser uh, inspect the actual request which is fired off and we can see that PHP is responding and it has actually received the thumb and the untitled uh, file so that's good um, PHP has successfully uh, retrieved or received both of those files okay and uh, inside the headers uh, we can see here as part of the request headers we get a content type of multi-part slash form data. So that's basically what you would put in if you're using a, a normal HTML form. You would say ink type and say multi-part slash form data here. It's been done automatically, okay? And of course, on the bottom, we can see uh, those files have been sent inside the form data, of course. All right, and uh, back inside the uh, text editor, inside the uploads directory, we can see we get the thumb and the untitled project. All right, and that right there is how you're able to upload multiple files with Ajax in JavaScript. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.